welcome back to another episode of Beauty and the Bolt. We're going to be doing a tutorial on how to use the Roland GS24 vinyl cutter. So if you're confused on how to use your vinyl cutter or you want some tips and tricks, keep watching. Behind me you see all of these different colors of rolls of vinyl and you can purchase those online. We'll link some below. But it's basically a thin sheet of sticky vinyl on like sticker back paper. You feed that into a vinyl cutter and it with a tiny little blade cuts out whatever shape you tell it to and you have to pull out the pieces you don't want and then you have the sticker that you do want. This head here is the knife um, and if you look down here, he's so little baby and cute, but that is the blade itself. Um, here we have the, the rollers and that will put the vinyl like forwards and backwards. So it does get two dimensions. It has the forward and backward with the roller and then this goes side to side. So because of that, it can make literally any shape. And then you have the controls for like the electronic controls over here. I'm not showing the process of making a file um, simply because whatever software you're using, it's all very, very different. So I'm in my file in Adobe Illustrator and then I'm using Cut Studio to send it to the vinyl cutter and I will show you that. Something you'll note as you look at this blank file is that I've gone ahead and put extra lines between all the letters to make it easier to weed or to like, which is what we call picking out the, the vinyl that we don't want. I've gone and put a lot of extra cuts in it and that will kind of basically make it like little bite sized portions so you don't end up with a long strip of vinyl you don't know what to do with. All right, so we're now going to feed the vinyl into the machine. So set the vinyl roll on your rollers, and then I actually find it easier to feed it through one corner at a time, um, and just poke it through and then pull. And make sure that the vinyl is coming over the top and not under like this. This is bad. And then once you get it through, definitely straighten it out. Um, so once it's lined up nicely on one of these stripes, so it's nice and straight, put the roller as close to the edge as possible on both sides. And then using this lever, clamp the rollers down. And you can see the rollers just lowered. All right, so now this shouldn't be able to move. We good? On the menu here, you'll see it says select sheet. And your options are roll, edge, and piece. I've only ever used roll and piece. I actually don't know what edge is, so. But we're using a roll. If you were using like a, a scrap piece like this, you would do piece. Now hit enter. And what it's doing is actually like looking at the width of the piece. So now you'll see it says width is 22.9 inches and that is, is its cuttable width. So your cuttable width is not the entire width of the vinyl because it can't obviously cut where the rollers are. And the length is endless because it's a roll. If you were using a piece, it would also check the length of the piece. So now we're gonna go over to our computer. All right, so I'm opening the Roland Cut Studio and I'm gonna go to File, uh, cutting setup. So you can see it says 23 inches right here, um, but I want it to get it from the machine actually. So I'm gonna click get from machine. So now you can see it's 22.9, which is exactly what it says on the machine. So we're gonna click okay. And then we're gonna click okay. This is the end of my vinyl. And then this is the like abyss of the roll, but I want it to rotate the other way. So I'm gonna go into file cutting setup again and then click change. Um, and then hit rotate off. And that way we will get the vinyl as it is feeding out of the machine. So I'm gonna click import and select the EPS file that I've already downloaded onto this machine. I'm gonna click open and wham, bada bam, there it is. Um, so I'm just gonna go into file, cutting. Status is ready and I'm gonna click okay. So even in person, you can barely see anything happening. Like I can see, if I look really, really closely, I can see these lines, but the cuts are so thin. It's like, like surgery incisions. All right, so as you can see, our lovely vinyl cutter has stopped cutting vinyl, um, which means it's done. Now we're gonna gently move this to the side, put the rollers back down and then we can slide this out. There's a groove right here that's really nice for following with a knife. Gently cut it. I, at this stage, always like to just unload the vinyl cutter and make sure it's ready to go. So I'm gonna turn it off, release the rollers, and then just roll this back in. Grab it off. 
All right, so I'm gonna grab my rubber band. Now is a process we call weeding, where you basically use tweezers to pull out all of the vinyl that you don't want. So I'm gonna start with the like very, very outside. So this piece is... And this, you just wanna go slow and use tweezers. You're probably seeing now why I put um, cuts in between each letter, because it is so much easier. All right, so we have a sticker. All right, so the next step is now I have this, but like how the hell do I stick it to something? And the solution is something called transfer paper. Transfer sticky stuff, transfer tape, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take my transfer tape, unroll it a little bit, and lay it down flat, nice and flat. And then I'll put this and stick it on. And then snip, snip, snip. And it really does not matter what shape you're cutting this into because the transfer tape is gonna come off eventually too. Yay, okay, so now I wanna get a squeegee or like a credit card. Um, so I'm just gonna use my student ID. <laughs> and all right, now, if you're giving this to someone, this is the state in which you will give it to them. Because then all they have to do is peel the transfer tape and stick it wherever they want. Once I stick it, the sticker to something, um, the transfer tape will peel off of the vinyl. And you're done! I'm gonna go stick this somewhere, but in the meantime, you should hit the subscribe button and maybe leave a comment and like this thing, because that really helps us a lot, as every YouTuber, including myself, says at the end of every video. And as always, I hate outros, so we're gonna just well, no, we're going to cut to me sticking it somewhere. Go!